have you had the experience of passionately creating something and announcing something, whether it's a, a framework or a product or a package or event, you passionately announce it, and then you are shocked that your audience doesn't get it. Very few people sign up, very few people comment on the idea, and you're like, gosh, I am so passionate about this. How come nobody else gets it? You know why they don't get it? Because they haven't been on the same journey as you. Or rather, you haven't taken them on the journey to creating that thing that you're sharing. This is why I often say you have to create in collaboration with your audience. That's what good marketing is. It's not done in isolation where you go and study for five years on your own uh, in isolation, not never documenting your journey. You're just studying, you know, getting a certificate, and then you go out there and says, hey, everyone, I am a certified coach. Hey, everyone, I am now, I've, I've spent five years now creating this product. Will you buy this thing? And then people, you're surprised that not everyone gets the, the fire as you, as you have because they haven't spent those five years with you. This is why it's so, uh, I, I really appreciate what uh, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk says. He says, document rather than create. And what he meant by that is instead of maybe feeling intimidated that you're going to create content, uh, you know, it's got to make something good, quality content. No, no, no. Don't forget about creating quality content. Instead, just document your journey along the way. So let's say you are wanting to become a, a, a masterful life coach. Don't just go and study a life coaching program and then go out there and say, now I'm a life coach, everyone, please hire me. It's so great, this life coaching framework. Because you, again, they didn't go through the training with you. Everyone who went, went through the training with you, sure, everyone gets how great it is. But what you should be doing the whole time, every single day as you go through that training or every single day you are studying or you're researching what it means to be a life coach, you should be documenting and say, this is one thing I learned today about what it means to transform your life. This is one thing I learned about why a lot of people can't make progress in their life. This is one little technique I learned about how you can overcome your you know, limiting beliefs or, or whatever it is you're learning. Like every single day, you should be bringing your, your, doc, your um, documenting your journey and bring your audience along so that by the time that you are ready, no, I, should, I, should, I was going to say ready, you are never ready and you are always ready. This is really important. Don't ever say, okay, I'll wait until I'm ready to launch and then I'll, no, no, just you first document your journey, you know, for a while until you need the clients, but then for as long as you can, like the longer you can document your journey before you sell something, the bigger of a warm audience you have so that when you, when you do sell something, you'll probably get a higher uh, sign up rate. Okay. So you, you just keep documenting every single day. You say, this is one thing I learned today. This is one thing I tried today, but it didn't work. Now I'm going to try again tomorrow in a different way and, and, and you'll see it and see if it works. Every single day. I mean, this is when I started creating content in 2015. I, I'd started my business in 2009. I didn't know about content creation. I didn't know the importance of it for personal growth and professional growth. I didn't know. So from 2009 to 2014, I didn't create content. From 2015, when I started creating content, I dedicated to making a new thing every single day. And I want you to make that same commitment. No, not once a week. Definitely not once a month. Every day. Not one day should go by that you didn't spend the 15 minutes to create a piece of content. Just 15 minutes. Stop, t stop writing an article for two hours or spending you know, half an hour making a one minute video. It's ridiculous. I mean, unless you have the time, okay, fine. But if, if you can dedicate the two hours every day or the half hour every day, great, wonderful. Most of us are too busy. Most of us probably can, can carve out the 15 minutes a day to like, okay, in that 15 minutes, I'm going to think about what I'm going to say, one thing I'm going to say, and then I'm going to make a video. Of how to, Maybe it takes me 10 minutes to think about one thing I'm going to say, and then I'm going to take the five minutes to make a video and upload it. So maybe, maybe it's a one minute video and upload it to Instagram or something like that. that. That I can do, right? Or upload to YouTube or whatever. 15 minutes of creating a day, documenting your journey a day 
over the long haul, you grow this audience of people who care about your journey because they've been on it. You've taken them on it so that by the time you put out your coaching service, your event, your framework, now you've got people who go, my God, that makes a lot of sense. Why is it an aha moment for them? Why does it make so much sense for them? Because they've been on the journey with you. The, the people who are going to see your product or your event or your idea who have not been on a journey with you, they won't get it. And that's okay. You, because you're talking to the people who've been on the journey with you, just like you're talking to yourself. So every single day, okay? Okay, you can take the weekends off. If you're really exhausted, take the weekends off, fine. But otherwise, five days a week, without fail. If it's 11.50 p.m., on, on, you know, you still have 10 minutes left today to put out a, piece, a video, a quick video. Be embarrassing. It's okay to be embarrassing in the first year of your, con your, your documenting your journey. You'd rather be embarrassed in front of the five people who are watching in the first year rather than the 50 people who are watching the second year. Got it? Be embarrassing. Be not ready. I'm never ready when I make a video. Never ready. I just press re go live. That's all I can do. And go live and I start blah, 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 talking. Of course, I've done this for you know seven years straight, so I'm, a, I'm more polished than you are. But in the beginning, I wasn't like that. Obviously not. You got to start somewhere. Be embarrassing in the beginning so you can look back and go, look how far I've come. And your audience can also go, wow, look how far you've come. And it's such a satisfying payoff when people can see that. So I hope this helps and uh, go for it. Document rather than create.